My name is Frank Lucido, family practice doctor in Berkeley since uh, 1979. And uh, since the passage of the Compassionate Use Act in 1996 in California, I've been performing medical cannabis evaluations. And uh, at first, uh, right now it's about 30% of my practice. At first I was doing just a few patients that of the, there were patients of my own where it was clear that they had serious illness and I knew them well. And then because a lot of doctors don't feel comfortable making medical cannabis recommendations for a number of reasons, I started getting referrals from other patients and finally other doctors are referring patients to me, including some psychiatrists. Uh, so that's been reassuring. And uh, because I do family practice, I've always had a, a sense of what appropriate medicine is and what not appropriate medicine, having been a medical legal consultant, reviewing cases for the plaintiff and malpractice cases, being on the family practice advisory board of my hospital, being on the uh, ethics committee, being chairman of medical education. So I had enough background to feel comfortable knowing safe and appropriate recommendations. So um, one of the articles I published was uh, implementation of the Compassionate Use Act in family medical practice uh, published in O'Shaughnessy's, the Journal of the Society of Cannabis Clinicians. And it's a blueprint for doctors to make uh, safe and appropriate recommendations. And uh, so that's what I think doctors uh, should do. and. Obviously, in many states, they're afraid to make recommendations. Again, either they're afraid of the, the law, they're afraid of the medical board, or they don't know the value of cannabis. So I think it's important for doctors to be educated so that, that patients uh, can get the, uh, the recommendations they need. So uh, let's see. You can, you can edit this down if we need to. Sure. Um, so um, you know, California was the first state to pass a medical cannabis law. And in spite of what I consider some of the best standards, I was still investigated by the medical board. And uh, the medical board finally closed my investigation after they realized I had some of the best standards. I started a group called MedBoard Watch or MedicalBoardWatch.com. And uh, again, I put my implementation article on there and all the messages that I've given to the medical board showing that it's a safe medicine, it's effective, etc. cetera. And um, even though I was investigated uh, and that was a very stressful event, uh, I knew that I had good standards, I knew that I would overcome, and I knew I had some donors that would s supply me with uh, uh, you know, funding for my legal defense, and basically I ultimately didn't need much because they finally closed my investigation, and uh, now they call me up for advice. So if, any, if there are any doctors that want to do this, if, you, if, you wanna, if, anybody, wants to, uh, uh, if anybody wants to encourage their own doctor to start making safe and appropriate recommendations, feel free to have them call me or go to my website medboardwatch.com and uh, again it's free just to see what I consider good standards and uh, I'd be happy to talk to any doctor that wants to start making recommendations. Uh, I uh, have a, I tend to rail against the low standard clinics that have opened up in uh, California next to every dispensary uh, you know doing the quick in quick out three to fifteen minute fig leaf uh, appointment because I think they're giving people bad medical legal advice um, and obviously there's another round of medical board investigations that's going to happen. One of my uh, heroes is Dr. Todd McAria. He uh, died last year but he's sort of the grand old man of uh, medical cannabis and uh, you know I miss him dearly. Uh, he was, uh, like I said, he helped write Prop 215 He's responsible for the phrase and any other illness for which it provides relief because uh, California is the only state with a medical marijuana law where we can use it for the mood disorders. Vietnam veterans are the classic example of a group that has shown me that after years of psychotherapy, decades, they've, cannabis is the one medicine that's allowed them to hold a job, keep their family together, and, uh, and continue on in life. Where none of the other med medicines, years of psychotherapy, tens of other medicines have never worked or worked minimally. So um, it really is good for a lot of things and uh, all it takes is doctors with good responsibility to make sure that the patient uh, is, is being appropriate and uh, really I think uh, I'd like to see more doctors with good standards do it and make the recommendations so that other states can feel more comfortable uh, you know, passing laws like this.